Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here, and today we're just going to go over the process of how to autofill your job form using a spreadsheet. Now, this is really great for when you want to basically streamline the process of filling out your job form. So let's say you already have information that doesn't need to be separately filled by each individual. If, they, if you already have access to that, you can basically help them answer the form faster, make it easier for everyone and also minimize mistakes as a result. So let's just get into it so you guys get an idea of how this works. So right now, as you can see, we have a job form currently up. It's kind of empty. And right now, what we're going to start with is to basically show you how the connecting works between connecting a job form and the spreadsheet before actually doing it in front of you guys so that you guys get an idea of how it looks, how it works, and how it would look like from your end and the respondent's end. Okay. So this feature comes in the form of a widget. And in case you guys might not remember, in order to access a widget, you're going to want to hit the Add Form Element button and head to the Widgets window. From here, as you can see, I've already input the word Sheet. And as you can see here, there is a widget called Spreadsheet to Form. Now, this is the widget we're currently interested in. And in order to use it for your form, you're going to want to drag the corresponding widget or form element in this case towards the form so you can then drag it and drop it onto your form. Now, as you can see, it automatically creates this little text bar with a button for autocomplete fields. In this text bar is where you will input the specific code so that whatever corresponding information is connected to code within your spreadsheet, it'll then autofill whatever questions might be following this. So as you know, in order to autocomplete fields, we also need extra fields to complete. So let's just add some basic form elements just so that we have something to add. So let's say we want to ask for the respondent's full name. We want to ask for their email, their phone number, and let's just say we also want a date. Now, it's also important to note this point that you have to take note of the specific names of each section because that will be important later when we're actually filling out the sheet. Okay. So here's how it's also going to work. So in order to activate this widget, as you can see, you are going to want to hit the widget settings, which is this little magic wand tool over here. Once you've hit that, as you can see, you can basically upload a spreadsheet file from which this form will get the autofilled information and then edit the corresponding other features of this widget. Something to take note of is that Whatever you input here would be the unique access code that corresponds to a specific row of information. So just to get a better idea of it, let's just build a spreadsheet. And from here, we're going to show you how it works. We're going to put unique code, which kind of acts as an identifier for any corresponding information. And then we want to fill in first name, last name, using the exact wording as it is dictated here in this form. We want the email. We want phone number. And I think that should do for now. We'll just focus on that. Okay, phone number. Yeah, we'll leave date and appointment empty for now. So how it's going to work is that you're going to have like a unique code. Usually it'll be like a series of numbers. You can also just like leave it at one, two, three, and get higher as you go. This will just make it simpler for our tutorial. And then add whatever information you might want to autofill. So let's say we have some random names. Oh, sorry, it should have last name here, actually. And, you know, let me just delete that. Okay, so we've separated the first name from last name, and we can have random emails. Okay, so as you can see, we're kind of just inputting the information and phone number. Okay, so this is the information we would want to autofill and each section, each little cube of, of information or input would then correspond to a specific section here within the drop form. So we've built our spreadsheet. We know what kind of information you want to autofill. 
let's get into the more technical side of it. Okay, so obviously let's just have a tutorial. So the thing is, in order to utilize this widget, you're going to want to save your Google Sheet as a Excel file. So in this case, you're gonna to want to download it as a Microsoft Excel. And from here, you can then select the widget for auto-completing fields, hit widget settings, and then you can upload the file from your computer. So in this case, I want to add that. And from here, you can choose which access, which columns are gonna be accessed, which labels are gonna be accessed, and any other specific features you might want to show in case certain information does come up and others don't. So once you fix all of that and you've had the spreadsheet file already uploaded, all you got to do is hit that update widget button. And while nothing initially might happen, as you can see, if we were to preview the form as we hit the toggle button over here and you were to hit, you were to choose any of these unique codes, just a table pick two, autocomplete that field. And as you can see, phone number, email has been autofilled. Let's just check to see why name didn't autofill. Maybe it should be just name then. Okay. Let's try this. Okay, so it looks like name should actually just be under the main section name. So in other words, don't refer to the subsections. If you are naming your columns, just refer to the main titles of each subsection. In this case, it looks like it might not be super intuitive when trying to distinguish between a first name and a last name, seeing as it would automatic, automatically populate the first word in this little square of information into first name and the second one into last name, which might be an issue if you have more than one name. But as of now, if you do have the minimum information, this should actually be fine. So let's just try this again. So we're going to want to, now that we've edited the thing, we're going to want to download it again as a Excel file. We've downloaded that. Okay. And then we're going to want to head back to the edit version. We're going to want to hit wid widget settings, remove this file, upload a different file, upload this new one. Okay. Let's see if this one works in filling out name, phone number, and email. So let's see. Okay. Preview form. Hit three autocomplete fields. And there we go. It has automatically pre-populated this information coming from this spreadsheet. All right. That's all we really have to say about this feature. Hopefully it helps you better manage any sort of data collection you might be doing. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you need any more help when it comes to using JotForm and its many features, check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time.